So even though I'm super bullish on Nvidia, and I mean super, super bullish, I do believe there are some short term pains that this company can see. And as an investor, I think it is very important to understand these short term pains because they will increase volatility in the stock price. But if we understand what's happening and why it's happening, it can kind of help us ride the storm out and kind of contain this long term mentality that we have for our investments. So in today's episode, I want to take a closer look at what that short term pain is and how it will affect the overall company. If this is your first time here, make sure to hit the thumbs up, make sure to hit the subscribe button, check out the pin comment for a lot of great links and also check out my tech channel where I am going to start posting some great videos. I do want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video and make sure to check out fool.com slash Jose to get the top 10 stocks to buy right now. So first, let's understand which segment I believe will take the biggest hit and that would be the gaming market we can see in the most recent quarter this company's gaming market made about 3.6 billion dollars out of that 8.3 total revenue and this is a market that has grown dramatically look at it about two years ago it was sitting about 1.6 billion dollars so this is a market that has grown dramatically in just a few quarters but what has fueled that growth for those not familiar with nvidia their gaming market segment includes graphics cards that are used by gamers content creators and at the moment it has been used by crypto miners and we can see ethereum one of the cryptos that is being mined with nvidia graphics cards had pretty much had a very very strong bull market since early since late 2020 to about late 2022 so for all this time not only were the gamers trying to get graphics cards not only were the content creators trying to get the graphics cards but the crypto miners were also trying to get these gamer cards because they wanted to mine crypto there was a recent study right now that shows that ethereum miners has spent approximately 15 billion on GPUs over the past one and a half year. The number does not include the cost of CPUs, motherboards, or other equipments. That was just the money spent on GPUs themselves. The data comes from BitPro Consulting, a company that specializes in purchasing and refurbishing crypto mining hardware. So we can see that definitely helped accelerate the growth in the gaming market. Unfortunately, Nvidia hasn't truly broken down how much of that comes from crypto because they say it's very, very hard to see where the kind of cards go into. So now if we take a closer look at Ethereum, we can see that this compared to its 52 week high has dropped around 75% pretty much like most of our growth stocks. And what's gonna come next, I believe, is where the problem arises. Unfortunately, or fortunately, I don't know, it depends on how you see it and which side of the team you're in, most crypto miners got their graphics cards at crazy rates, hitting almost three times the MSRP back in 2021. Now, most of these GPUs are being sold under MSRP at resale sites such as eBay. So right now, we're gonna start seeing an influx of used graphics cards in third party seller websites like ebay um the real question is are gamers like you or like me are content creators like you or like me are we gonna spend a few hundred dollars on a used card or are we gonna save up maybe a few extra bucks to kind of buy a brand new card this is where the question kind of comes out because there is going to be a huge influx of used graphics cards and here we can see from this pretty cool graph by tom's hardware uh, posted here on videocards.com that most graphics cards from the current generation of nvidia which would be the 30 thousands the 3000 series most of those cards brand new are still above MSRP, but they are decreasing as the weeks progress. For example, I'm looking at the 3070 right now, and the MSRP for this card is about $500. We can see it is brand new, is still selling above MSRP. So for them being sold above MSRP, it tells me at least that there might still be some strong demand from your regular consumers and not your crypto miners at the moment. Now this is where things get even more tricky. Nvidia has kind of increased their inventories quarterly over time because of this overall semiconductor shortage. 
unfortunately, unfortunately, as investors, we do not know where this inventory arises. Is what portion of this inventory is their current generation of cards and what portion of this inventory is for future generations of cards? Worst case scenario, if a majority of the inventory is for the current generation of cards, I do believe it could be bad news for NVIDIA, at least for the short term. If I do want to say the best case scenario is that NVIDIA has kind of prepared for this. And even though inventory is at a high level right now, and like I mentioned, reason inventories are high is because they do need to make payments a lot ahead of time because of the overall semiconductor shortage. But if most of that inventory is for new products and they have kind of kept their inventory of current generations pretty low, then that would be the best case scenario for NVIDIA. Unfortunately, for investors, we do not know what the actual case is at the moment. And then things get even more tricky. And this is why I believe for short term, there is so much uncertainty that's gonna create more volatility in the stock price. Nvidia is soon to release their next generation of graphics cards. Unfortunately, we don't have a date right now, but many are expecting at the end of this year. Question is, are the gamers, are the content creators who were unable to buy the graphics cards for the past two years, are they going to buy the 3000 series right now or are they going to wait for the 4000 series and i believe unfortunately if they buy the 3000 the current generation series then there might not be as high of a demand for the upcoming generation and again this is going to create more uncertainties and more kind of short-term pain for nvidia like i mentioned i'm super bullish in this company especially when the data center market is one that I believe will continue to grow. The auto market is super small, but another market that I believe has huge potential for this company. So again, I just want to showcase that, hey, in the short term of things, there could be some pain for this stock. But for the long term, I do believe this is a stock that will do amazing returns for my portfolio. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Take care, have a good day, and see you next time.